Hey, yo, what up, guys? It's Dark Lord 5 here today to bring you a brand new video. Okay, so it's been a couple days. Let's get into it. Let's see. No idea where I'm going. Oh, probably these stairs over here. That would be the logical choice. Okay, wooden dojo floors? Let's see. Oh, okay. I don't know what any of this stuff is supposed to look like. A shotgun. Why don't you come back? What happened? It's all caved in. Shotgun. You know shotgun? Sorta. She was a good one. She got caught in a blast though. Damn. She was inside when the explosion happened. Do you know shotgun too? We worked together. Why are you doing this to Wutai? That's all this organization. I know, they're an anti shinra organization, right? And you destroyed the building, which means you guys are... Sung! Yuffie, you're here! Whew. So, you are okay? Don't worry me like that. Sung, I'm sorry! Shotgun! Yuffie, what's wrong? You, get out of Wutai! Yuffie? You're Shinra! Were you trying to trick me? Damage Wutai some more? No, you're misunderstood. I wasn't trying to fool you. You're misunderstood. I hate them, but I hate Shinra more. What? What was that about? Yuffie, I'm sorry. I hurt her so much just by being Shinra. Shinra, the Turks. Can I carry on like this? Sir, I've received the last report on the stronghold. Did we get the ringleader? As long as they're alive, the organization will carry on. They've all been eliminated. Oh, that means Avalanche is completely destroyed. But, be as that it may, uh, be as that may, the after effects of Avalanche activities are widespread. World trust in Shinra has been compromised. We've let Shinra do what they wanted until now. It will be necessary to consolidate the company's reputation once more. There's an even, there's an event being planned now, isn't there? The world's first rocket launch. The launch ceremony will be broadcast around the world. Begin preparations. Yes, sir. Our plan was a success. Yes. HQ is destroyed and its leaders with it. They think they'll they're destroyed avalanche entirely. Huh. Veiled was starting to get too close to the truth. The surveillance around me was tight, so I couldn't do much, but I shouldn't have those problems anymore. But our options have been reduced. We move now. Help. Don't push yourself, dude. Your illness is still there. We can't do anything about the little inconveniences. Yes, we knew that from the start. N next, everything will end next time at the rocket launch ceremony. The old man will have his guard down, and that's when we make our move. Leave everything to us. To be continued. Oh, wow. That was... Comes over very fast. Onward to the distant heavens. All right, continuing on. Year three, month four, day eleven, a.m. One o'clock in the morning. Why does everything usually happen in the morning? This is amazing. They fly as if they were one airplane. I've never seen anything like this before. You wouldn't think it's a rehearsal, huh? It's pointless, sir. What are you saying? This is the air show for the rocket launch ceremony. This is Shinra's crown and glory. Crown and glory? Where is the merit in sending some rocket up into space? All of this pomp with the air show and the ceremony are a waste. Oh, the air show pilot has disembarked. Hey, oh, okay. A new voice for Sid. <clears throat> hey. Uh, are you impressed? These are my babies. Sid? You're the one in charge of these flying contraptions? Don't tell them. Don't call them contraptions, son. 
These are my partners. That baby's called the Tiny Bronco. I don't care about the flying contraption's name. Just what were you thinking? What are you thinking? This is a rehearsal, not the real thing. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and assume you know that. Of course I do. I'm just drunk as shit. Just leave the Shinra number 26 to me. That's right. That means this rehearsal doesn't mean a thing. Don't you worry about none about that. The sky was calling me and I answered. That's all. What are you going to do but answer back? That's a true man of the sky right there. He's just as legendary as I've heard. Look, Vice President, tell the executives this for me. I'm going to be the first one up there to reach the moon. Wait for it. I'm cheering on you too, Sid. Oh, man, this game, it just never ends. Yeah. So, you get it too, huh? What's your name? Shotgun of the Turks? I'm acting as the president's escort today. Huh, stupid. It's all stupid. Oh, I, I don't care about this out of space stuff. My interests lie firmly on the ground. Really? Aren't you trying to get to the promised land? Does that really sound firmly on the ground to you? Ah, uh, company should be there too. <laughs> You're so young, but so cynical. Not like your pop. That man got dreams, see? He built the company from the ground up, see? The scope of your rep respective vision is different. The scope. What the? What does that mean? Sid, let's talk. Uh, let's drop the talk about my father, hmm? Huh? That sounds like an engine. What are those guys doing? They're stealing the tiny Bronco. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Sorry, guys. This game, it's very hard to get through. I might actually have to switch to a different game after this. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. It's so dry. Like hell they will. That's my baby. I'm not let... I'm not got let those shit take her. Sid, wait. You're the only astronaut in the world. If something happens to you, the launch can't go on. I'll go. Rufus, sir, I'll be back soon. Whatever. I'm, I'm counting on you. The tiny Brocco is in your hands. You, stop right there. Hey, when did you... Get out of the seat. Ugh. I've got the plane back, but I can't fly this thing. Beep, beep. A signal. Did you get it back? Sid, yeah, I did. Good job. Now you can land her. I don't want to see any scratches, you hear? But I don't know how to fly this simple. I'll explain it to you, so listen carefully. Use the left and right direction keys to move back and forth. The up and down keys will take the plane up and down. Just schedule my baby, and they'll be held to bay. Try not to hit any birds. Yes, sir. Okay. That sounds terrible and lame. Let's do it. Oh, I was right about it being terrible. Oh. flying vehicle is this? Is that wheels? It looks like it has wheels on the bottom. What am I looking at? What kind of shape is this vehicle? Ah, uh, okay. Ta-da! Hey, you did alright. Yeah, I managed to get through this in one piece somehow. Jeez, what a freak. Who the hell tried to steal my tiny Bronco? <laughs> what happened to the tiny Bronco? Sorry, boss. We couldn't... Oh, sorry, boss. We couldn't get it. <laughs> Forget about it, man. We'll go to our next plan. Get yourself onto Shi Shinra number 26 and steal one of the oxygen tanks. If you succeed, we can stop the launch. Yes, sir. Guess this is only right to give you all a reward. Hey, I know. How about you come and look at my rocket? That may not have come out right, Sid. Well, I'm in the middle of guarding the vice president. I can't really do that just now. Then bring him along. I haven't had a threesome in a while. Let's do it, guys. It might change your view on space exploration. The operation probably started by now. With the president, with the presence of a Turk inside the rocket, the rocket staff will have their guard down. It'll make things easier. If you're going to insist, I guess we'll take a look. Okay. Might as well save again. This is the engine room. 
These oxygen tanks here are gonna help get this baby off the ground. Without them, the Shinra number 26 ain't gonna go anywhere. I guess, in a way, you could say this is the heart of the rocket. You can take a look inside here when you're finished, just talk to me. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess I'm finished. Thanks. If you're finished, then let's go. Tomorrow is the launch. It should be quite the sight. Good luck, Sid. We'll be going now, Sid. You'll be running one last check today. See y'all later. What the hell is this? Someone stole the oxygen tank. There were a lot of people inside the rocket today, sir. Damn it. This is a big emergency. Get that tank replaced. We've got to run the final checks. At this rate, we won't make the launch. Damn it. That would explain why the, uh, why the final checks and that whole oxygen tank thing happened. But if that was the case, then you think Sid would be more understanding of, of why, uh, what, what was her name? Sheena? Uh, was so cautious about checking the, uh, the, the oxygen we should delay the launch, President. Going ahead with the launch without ensuring everybody's safety is reckless. We can't stop now. The whole world will be watching the launch. That's right. We don't need to delay the launch. We'll get through cracking everything on time. We've got one of our best mechanics on the job. We're talking about your life here, Sid. Are you trying to say you don't care about what happens to him? I want to see the launch. If Sid's life is at risk, They'll cancel it, right? I don't care about any of that. What are you talking? Or what are you th what what are you thinking? You're saying that you don't care if you die? That's right. Not being able to go into space is the same as dying to me. If we would delay the launch, we won't be able to try again for another six months. And who knows what will happen between now and then. I'm willing to take my chances. What will you do if the launch fails? The whole world will see that. The damage our company is company's image will suffer will know no bounds. If the launch is a fail, we'll just air something else. What do you think that will accomplish? We'll remind the world of Shinra's power once again. We'll win back the trust in the company that Avalanche compromised, and we'll bring subtlety to the world once more. Oh, stability. Oops. Huh, this is stupid. Blah, 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 blah. If I were in charge... The company would uh, would be ten times what it is now. You're living in a dream world. You can't run a business based on just a theory. All right, quiet down. I only know one thing, and that's whether we can go ahead with the launch or not. That's all that matters. Can you save the pretty family squabble until later? We're going ahead with the launch tomorrow, as planned. Okay, in that case, I'd better get going. Gotta see to it that the mechanic isn't slacking off, yeah? Launch site. The ceremony ended. The Shinra number 26 is going to be launched into outer space. Mission control. Read, uh, readouts all clear. This is Shinra number 26. Ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra in 26th launch in minus three minutes. Starting countdown. It's finally happening. At last, the launch is about to begin. Ugh. There have been a lot of delays along the way, but... Something could still go wrong, however. I'll guard you and the Vice President. Damn you, Veld. He hasn't left the old man's side the whole time. Avalanche can't make their move. I guess we'll have to give up for now. Still, I'm the only one that could... But that should be in charge of the uh, of the company. Nobody would get in my way. I'll find another way to get this plan to work. Okay, so the idea here is that okay, I was under the impression um, that he started Avalanche. Uh, Rufus started Avalanche so that way he could um, basically root out all of. Shinra's enemies, but now it looks like that's not exactly the case. He just wanted to kill his old man. Interesting. What? What the? What happened? Sid. Sid, a mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. God damn it! Who the? Could is still in there? 
It's me, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. What are you still doing in there? I was still concerned that the results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little... It's going to get so hot in there that there ain't going to be shit left when we blast off. You're going to be burnt to a crisp. You're going to die. You know that, don't you? And we will find out if they know that or not next time. So, uh, 15 minute mark. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you did not like my video, make sure to give it a thumbs down. Um, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And subscribe if you guys want more of my content. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace.